Hello and welcome back to Top Troops everybody and today we are going to be looking at Chambers of Destiny on our secondary and again we're still on tier 8 because I can consistently complete it tier 9 I haven't been able to complete um, the first note just yet but I have a feeling that soon we will be able to do that but without further ado let's get into this And then what gear are we looking at? Uh, let's quickly see. D -d 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 -d. Uh, attack speed and cooldown is probably the best. Move speed, not really something that we're looking at, but yeah. Let's see where we go. Now, what are we trying to hit? Obviously, mercenary boxes always need to be hit just to make sure that we can complete the floor um, a bit more consistently. And then blessings. So we'll see what this one is like once it's unlocked. If it's not nice, we'll just go up here so that we can still access both of these and then progress and see how we go on. Watermaiden seems to be the better unit, but I'm actually going to choose Sigmund just for the shield that she provides. Um, critical, yeah, nothing too crazy here, so I'll rather go out here and have a few more options and choices. <laughs> There we go. And with that, out of these units, obviously Slime King is the best unit to choose. And then let's see what blessings we can get here. Ah, enemies no longer dealing critical damage is pretty great. We definitely need something pretty soon to get to the back line, um, otherwise we might struggle. one there and then our second blessing nothing crazy there rage one of my favorite blessings to have great stuff but from these I'll take Blazing Champion I actually think is better 60 69 oh, saying Demi Angel so let's go for Demi Angel Thank you. 
Oh, pretty easy choice. And then mercenaries. There we go. Fire slasher. Finally, something that can get through to those backline units. I just need to protect him. the obvious choice and here we can see applying stun to ranged allies is definitely good. I will take that rather than trying for these others as that would definitely benefit us with not having too much dealing damage to that line. Now let's just break their carriage early. starting to lose quite a bit of life points. Um, yeah, next monster rat. Then let's go through here. defensive unit and does good damage and here we go no stun degrees it's just getting better and better now let's quickly see the units here slime king uh, okay bandolero let's just go here to go for the bottom one to get the blessing actually. I should have been a bit more aware. Um, but let's see here. Bikini. Actually I do like her. The stun comes in very handy, so getting her a bit more powerful. <laughs> Likely, um, yeah, definitely double werewolf. Just so much damage. Oh. 
Floor two. Let's take any one. So let's jump into the last floor. Uh, as you guys can see, the setup looks pretty much the same as the first floor. So we're just gonna hit these two mercenary boxes and as many places as we can. Let's get them to go through there. There we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, three. all the power of moles <laughs> they can do quite a bit of damage um, definitely going for Gollum his defense block chance is just great uh, so let's do it let's see what these blessings are uh, range allies not really great generally when you're looking for a blessing you want something that benefits <laughs> move speed or range uh, yeah let's just take the additional immunities I think mm, yeah crit yeah. Yeah, very any ranged so Mercenary. Um, yeah, let's take the king. Yet, which is great, so we might be moving to tier 9 earlier than we thought. Let's take the elves. Let's just finish this off strong. Run. Got quite a 
few good units as well. And not the best gear there, but hey, we try. Uh, and with that, thank you guys for joining and see you guys soon.